Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another manicure I'd like to share with you. I have worn this to work today, but I started off with the Miracle Nail Fix as my base coat. And then I used this beautiful purple polish from OPI. And this one is called Lost My Bikini in Mugolini. This is one of the polishes that Sister Chick sent me. It's a beautiful, dusty, mm, yummy purple. And I topped it off with Posh. And I wore it to work today and abused it. And it's still looking pretty good. Uh, I don't have any real major tip wear and no chipping. But, dun, 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 dun. we're going to do something with this one. I know some of you have been around the nail polish world for a little while, and I know you've all heard about Unicorn Pea. It's like the most elusive nail polish on the planet. Well, I managed to get a bottle. <laughs> this stuff goes for like $160 on eBay and on the internet. I didn't pay that much for it. I did pay probably more than I've ever paid for a nail polish, but I didn't pay that much. And it's it just doesn't look like all that, does it? <laughs> And they say that the Max Factor Fantasy, um, is it Fantasy Fire? I can't, yes, Fantasy Fire is similar, and it is very similar. And on the camera, you really can't tell much of a difference. But I wanted to um, share that with you. And there are other polishes now that have come out that are extremely similar. But we're not going to get into that today. We're just going to make this bottle look all shiny and pretty my fingerprints off of it so that you guys can see how gorgeous but I'm going to put this over the purple this is one of those polishes that you probably it would take so many coats to build it up that it just to me it's just seems like a waste um, especially since it's so expensive and so it's not even that it's expensive it's just hard to get your hands on so I'm going to just do maybe a coat or two of this over my previous, or current, previous, my current manicure over the bikini, so, or lost my bikini in Mugulini. And I am, um, you can already see the shift and everything in that. And I'll probably end up stamping over it as well, just because, you know, we're junkies. We got to just keep going. And I threw a fit for this polish, and I wanted it for a really, really long time. And I tried to forget about it. I bought the Max Factor and thought, okay, be done with it. You've got, you know, you've got, you've got a, you've got a pretty close one. It's a, it's a good dupe. But I'm one of those people that, and I know this might just sound crazy, but I want the dupe and I want the original. I, I just can't help myself. I don't know why. I feel like I need them both, but I do. So, but you can see that just changes it a little bit. A lot of people wear this over black or a really deep purple, and you can really wear it over all kinds of colors and get different effects. But I think I'll, so far I've only worn it over like purples, like different shades of purple. I haven't worn it but a couple of times, <laughs> I'll be honest. It's, it's special and I didn't want to use it all up because this will be the only bottle I get because by the time I run out and need more, it's going to be ridiculous. I mean, it's already beyond ridiculous, so I have been very stingy with it. I think I kept that one. But you can see it's just got this red... Ugh, it's just gorgeous. Of course, the base color is absolutely beautiful on its own so all you're doing is emphasizing it a little bit more but really the fantasy fire from max factor now it it's had there have been times it's been hard to get a hold of too there you go look at that let me do some different lighting so we can see different shifts in it isn't it pretty is gorgeous. I'm going to go do my other hand because I actually am wearing the same manicure. Well, actually, look, that's pretty neat. Seeing the difference between the two. I'm actually wearing the same manicure on both hands, so I'm going to go put this on the other hand, and we'll probably come back and do some stamping. See you in just a bit. 
Well, I'm back, my friends, and I have let this dry. We are going to be using this beautiful plate from You Are Beautiful, and it's the You Are Beautiful O2. And I'm thinking about using this like little chevron looking design up here. And we're going to get the lighting set right and get everything just right before we hop on into this. I've got my Fabio Nail Scraper, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. This thing has just been amazing. Um, I've had it for a while. You have seen me use it a bunch. It doesn't have any boo-boos in it. It's just done really, really well. I think I'm going to have to get me another one because I really do like it. I like the way it stamps too. It stamps really nice. And today I'm going to be stamping with the Wet n Wild. And this is the black cream. I don't think it's going to be able to be red, but it's this black cream there. And this is something that Sister Chick sent me. And she wanted me to try it out. So we're going to give it a shot today. We're just going to go ahead and see how this does. And I'm just going to do a couple of nails on camera. I'm, um, going to do a couple on camera, do the rest of them off camera, and we'll come back and top coat them and stuff. It's looking a little faint. I don't know if it's going to show up very good on this, but we're going to give it a go. Oh, I'm actually very surprised. Look how well that turned out. Wow, because it looks so sheer on the plate. So there we go. We've got one done. We're going to clean the stamper off and just keep on rolling with it since it's working well. I am very excited. If y'all hear any noise outside, they're like repraving the street out in front of our house. Um, bad timing on their part, but that's okay. We'll get through it. It's not too terribly loud, I don't think. I'm, I'm confused, y'all. Okay, if it's pointing that way, it needs to be pointing that way. All right, here we go. We're going to do this. <laughs> Very good. Very nice. I'm digging it. And I think it'll even pop more after I put the top coat on. So I'm going to pop off of here real quick. There you go. See? And I'm going to do the rest of my nails and we'll come back and do some top coat. Be right back. Okay, I'm back real quick. I just wanted to show you guys. I always show you my little tape cleanup trick. And I wanted to show you that even though this isn't a stamping polish, it is a regular polish. It is cleaning up. Now, I've only done the one hand, so I haven't let it like totally, totally dry. So, But it is coming up very nice with the tape. The little tape trick. So, that is always awesome. I know we we nail polish girls, we love us some easy peasy cleanup. So there you go. I just wanted to show you guys how well that worked with just the tape. I am so impressed. I'll be right back. Hello my friends, I'm back and I have cleaned up and top we're gonna top coat them now with some posh fast dry top coat. And it and it is making that, that, you know, black stand out just a little bit. It's another one of my subtle designs, which can also be very nice. But I really did want the clearance 230 to stick out. I, I really wanted that to be the showstopper. We're just going to top coat these last couple and call it to done. Got a little bit of, got to get my orange wood stick here. We got a little bit of escape. I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and get these last two done. Alrighty, there we go. 
top coated that last one and we are done. And this just turned out so pretty. I love that you can see the flash of all the colors. Very nice, very pretty. And we got both hands the same. <laughs> okay, well that is it. That is all I have for today. I will see you next time. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.